Good morning. From the heart, our morning daily devotional. The reading for today is entitled, A Peculiar People, November 2nd. There the glory is ever shining. Oh, my longing heart, my longing heart is there. Here in this country so dark and dreary, I long have wandered forlorn and weary. I'm a pilgrim and I'm a stranger. I can tarry, I can tarry but a night. Titus 2 verse 14 who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. The Lord hath set apart them that are godly for himself, and this consecration to God and separation from the world are plainly declared and positively enjoined in both the Old and New Testaments. There is a wall of separation which the Lord himself has established between the things of the world and the things he has chosen out of the world and sanctified unto himself. The calling and the character of God's people are peculiar. Their prospects are peculiar and these peculiarities distinguish them from all people. All of God's people upon the earth are one body from the beginning to the end of time. They have one head that directs and governs the body. The same injunctions rest upon God's people now to be separate from the world as rested upon ancient Israel. The great head of the church has not changed. The experience of Christians in these days is much like the travels of ancient Israel. As we read the word of God, how plain that God's people are peculiar and distinct from the unbelieving world around them. Our position is interesting and fearful. Living in the last days, how important that we imitate the example of Christ and walk even as he walked. The servants of Christ have not their home or their treasure here. Would that all of them could understand that it is only because the Lord reigns that we are even permitted to dwell in peace and safety among our enemies. It is not our privilege to claim special favors of the world. We must consent to be poor and despised in this world until the warfare is finished and the victory won. The members of Christ are called to come out and be separate from the friendship and spirit of the world and their strength and power consist in their being chosen and accepted of God. Even so, the members of Christ are as he was in this world. They are the sons and daughters of God and joint heirs with Christ and the kingdom and dominion belong to them. The world understand not their character and holy calling. They perceive not their adoption into the family of God. Their union and fellowship with the Father and the Son are not manifest to the world, and while they behold their humiliation and reproach, it does not appear what they shall be. They are strangers. The world knows them not and appreciates not the motives which actuate them. Thank you for listening. Shalom.